it ha it has no uh, class of people, no race or or whatever. It, uh, God is the same to the rich, the poor, uh, or whatever the middle class or whoever they might be, brother Jim. He has no he don't look at that that way. I tell people, you know, God don't look at the outward appearance. He looks upon your heart, that, and that's what he's looking. He's not looking at denomination, uh, this denomination, that denomination. I, I tell you, he's not looking at it that way. He looks on people's heart, and he knows. He knows the condition of everybody's heart tonight. And, and brother, I tell you, he looks at where we are telling the truth, where we're preaching the truth. God wants the truth to be known. He wants the world to know the truth. Uh, he don't want us to go out there and preach something. If we don't know the truth, don't, don't, don't uh, try to preach it, you know, if you don't know what the truth is. And, and I've seen a lot of them try to preach stuff that's not, not true, you know, and and God's going to hold people responsible for that. You better be finding out. You better be digging a little deeper and finding out what the truth of God's Word is. And brother, present the truth of God's Word to people. You know, there's some scriptures outweigh other scriptures, you know. And we got to, get, we got to dig deep into the Word of God. We got to dig way down deep and get on the solid rock. And, 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 and brother, the Bible said to establish her going. We need to get down there deep and find out the real meaning and real truth of God's word and, and then <coughs> present it to, to the world tonight. God is not prejudiced. You know, he don't have nothing against nobody. He loves everybody. He loves that, that, that uh, sinner that's above all sinners. He loves that sinner. He, he don't love his sin, but he loves his soul. Uh, you know, he wants to save his soul. And brother, the Bible said God hates sin. God hates sin. And brother, he hates the wicked. He hates those that do evil. And, and brother, those that run down his name. And those that disgrace him and make a mockery at him. The Bible said God is not mocked. Whatsoever you sow, that shall you reap. You, you, you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap of the flesh corruption. You sow to the spirit, you're going to reap life ever, everlasting. So God is not going to be mocked. And and the Bible said he will draw all men unto him, whosoever it will. Let him come and take of the water of life freely. God draws people to him. And how he does it is through the preaching of the gospel and through his people. That's the only way that people can be saved. You know, they've got to see Christ in us. If we don't set that, we don't let our light shine before man and that they might see our, our good works and glorify the Father. You know, the world is looking at us. They don't read no Bible. You know, they don't pray. Uh, they don't, uh, the only God, if they see God, he'll see it in Christian people. If they don't see it in Christian people, they'll never see it. And, and you and I had to see it in Christian people. We had to see dedicated people that was faithful to God, that loved God, and wasn't ashamed to tell you the truth and, and told you the truth. And, and brother, that's what, that's what set me free, Brother Jim, when... Yeah. I heard the truth of the word of God and I realized I was a sinner. I realized I was lost. I was dying and going to hell. Then the truth of the gospel got me. Then there, there, but we're talking about the love which passes all, all night. It's uh, the purpose of God's love tonight. We need to understand God's purpose. It's to serve all mankind. Yeah. It's to do good to all. He don't, like I say, he don't have no respect to person. Uh, uh, Jesus uh, taught his disciples to be servants. He taught them to love one another and pray one for another. And he said, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one to another. You know, uh, you know, he wants us to love one another. And, you know, I love people uh, that, uh, you know, go to the homeless church or go to the uh, wherever church, whatever church they go to. I still love them in the Lord. You know, uh, you know, that that's, if they want to go, that's their, their privilege to go wherever you want to go, you know. But you are to preach the truth no matter where you go. If it's a homeless church or if it's a Baptist church or, or a Catholic church or whatever kind of church it is, whatever kind of denomination it is, the main thing that God's going to hold you responsible for is telling the truth. Well, whatever denomination it is, you've got to tell the truth. You've got to preach the truth uh, where it's, uh, uh, you know, if it's your... Uh, denomination or not, you know, people's got it drawn up the way they want it, you know. But the truth will be known. And, and, and Lord, uh, the purpose of God's love is to bless all and to uplift all. God's purpose is to bless all and to uplift all. He don't want to downgrade nobody. 
He loves that man in that foreign country over behind him that don't even know God. He loves that person that, you know, believes in the Muhammad, uh, Muhammad religion. He, he loves that person. You know, uh, uh, no matter what, uh, they, uh, God still loves them. And he wants them to know the truth. He wants them to know the truth. And he, uh, Jesus taught in Matthew 5 and 14, he said, We are to love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. You see, Jesus wants us to, to pray for our enemies. Love our enemies. Yeah. You know, we got enemies out there. We got people that don't love us. But we, we're not to be like them, are we? We're not to say, I don't, because you don't love me, I don't love you. We love people regardless of their fault and failure. That's the way the Lord is. He's got that kind of love. Regardless, uh, I like that old song they sang. He looked beyond my fault and saw my need. Yeah. He realized I need love. He need, he, I needed salvation. He realized 